Hi everyone. Um, I'm feeling a wee bit sad actually because I've been going through all this paperwork here, loads of it and books, about um, my family. And this goes back, the history goes back to tracing our family right back to back to the last kings of Leinster in Ireland. Some interesting stuff from 1600 and four that I um, grabbed me. And then there was a little bit, is a little bit about my own grandmother, um, her family and children, obviously including my mother. So my grandmother, Katie Crow, married John Patrick Rooney and lived in Birmingham. She had six children, of which my mother was one girl. And there was another girl called Winnie Fred, um, after whom I was named. Um, my grandmother died in Birmingham in 1956. I remember her. Um, vaguely. And then it's talking about the education of the children. Um, my grandmother would have been one of them in Surleys in Ireland. And I'm going to read you this. This was about my grandmother and my great uncles, great aunts. They were renowned as students for their intelligent wit and musical ability. Their intuitive powers of reasoning could only describe them as being psychic human beings. It is remembered by one source that the level of learning of Jerry Crow, who was my mother's uncle, while at school, unbalanced his teacher, Dick the Master, so much that he suggested that Jerry was wasting his time in that school. Um, his knowledge and intelligence far surpassed that of his teacher. And his knowledge unbalanced that same teacher so much he suggested that Jerry moved to be schooled elsewhere, Dublin. Um, they have achieved, all of them, a full primary education, which at that time was some achievement, particularly in Ireland. Their thirst for learning was so great and it has become, become a, it became apparent they went on to night school. They engaged in every opportunity to educate themselves. They learned Latin. They learned the Irish language. They studied music and wrote poetry. They debated and were often, um, I lost myself, often regarded as great sources of wisdom and inspiration. This is my grandmother and her family, their brothers and sisters. Um, the people who you'd be honoured to know were valued also for their great truth and their great value upon truth. I can relate to that very much. And in some autograph books, one of the children said, my father signed my autograph book as follows. The truth may blame, but will never shame. So that was part of my family. That was my grandmother and her siblings. And then, you know, carrying on to my own mother. Family names were Amy, which I didn't know was a derivative of Winifred.
Amy and Winifred feature very strongly and my middle name is Winifred named after my aunt, my mother's sister and my great aunt also. Alice was a favoured name. I have a sister called Alice, an aunt called Alice. Um, these papers I'm going through, I've got back as far as 1604 at the moment, when the lands that we had in Thurley's and Temple Moor were taken from us. lipstick on my cup, cup I was drinking out of the wrong side and it's very sad to see how easy it was for the English or for those estate managers to steal great swathes of land you know, we were landowners. We were, we had a family to rival. I always think of the Spencers, Diana Spencer. We had family to rival the Spencers in England. Our ancestry didn't just go back a few generations. It went back to the last kings of Leinster. How the mighty have fallen, eh? All due to the rampaging and sacking, sacking of the English who forbade even uh, Irish children to learn, which is where the hedge schools come in which I want you to speak about, which I will speak about. But at the moment, I'm just so engrossed in our family history um, that it's taking up a lot of my time. Um, I was going to read something to you. Oh, here it is. Christmas night in Granera. Granera was in Thurley's. It was my ancestral home, my family, my family's home. And this is how it was. Christmas in Granera, when you've got sort of, you rule with an iron fist and you dare not really celebrate for whatever reason. I'll read you this. It was written by my uncle, Bill Crow, whose grave I have visited and whose... I actually got a sense of him being there. I'll read this to you. Christmas Night in Granera by Bill Crow. Last Christmas night, as I strayed along the Granera Road, I was struck with amazement and terror just at Michael Condon's abode. The night it been frosty and cold, and I in a gay thrifty walk, my spirits began for to daunt me at the hearing of some rapid talk. The sergeant stepped in on the floor, and this to Mike Condon did say, a dance I'll allow here no longer, as this it being Christmas Day. They were there from Inch and Kilconnan, for Namon, Long, Lough, Lock, Brack and Grouse Hall. Likewise Doree and Granera, and places I won't mention at all. And the girls when parting their sweethearts, they all set up actions and kissed. Bill Crow. So I'm going to carry on reading and obviously it's going to hit me with some more um, nostalgia 
and sorrow for the days gone past and for the rule of the iron fist by the English whose reign did not too long last. I'll be back later.